Hey guys, it's Amy. So today I have an updated review video for you guys and it is about my Speedy Bandoulière 25 centimeters. And the reason why I decided to do a updated review is because I have a totally different view of this bag as compared to my old review, which I will also link down below. Um, I used to own it in the Demi Event version, the same size. I'm sure if you follow me, you would sort of know the backstory already and kind of know the gist of it. But uh, for those of you who don't know, then you'll get my fresh view on this bag and why I prefer this print over the Demi Event. So anyway, let me share with you some of my updated thoughts and review of this bag. I will also list on the screen the size, the dimension of this bag for you guys. Um, as per my own measurements, I always measure it myself because I feel like it's always different online. Sometimes online they make mistakes, so I will put my own measurements and I'll just put it on the screen. I will also put the strap drop uh, dimensions for you guys. I'll try to be as thorough as I can, but I also know that a lot of people know about this bag already so I'm not going to dwell on the details but I'll still try to be a little bit more comprehensive so like I said, they, it, this bag comes in different prints and material it even has it in the Empreinte leather now but I'm basically focusing on this particular print which is the monogram canvas yes it is canvas not leather it comes with vachetta or vaqueta leather trim which is essentially untreated raw leather cow high trim and it's beautiful and soft and buttery essentially that's the difference between this print and the print that i had before i had the damier ben version which is the checkered print the brown checkered print with a chocolate treated leather which is also really beautiful it actually looks so good on but like many of you know uh, the reason why i decided to part with that one is because i felt like the treated chocolate leather trim was just really stiff. Um, I had it for maybe two years or maybe a year and a half before I sold it and I tried to use that bag. I actually really did use that bag and really tried to see if it would break in and I know that eventually it will be even softer but it's just not fast enough and it really does dig into my shoulder and when I say that I mean that I don't know. Like, if you look at this strap, and I've had this bag for a few months now, but I've only really used it a few times. It's already so soft and buttery, um, like it's malleable, it's, it, it just, it feels even soft to this touch. Whereas the other one, you can feel that if you try to bend it, it will have a bit of resistance. And when you have the bag full of things, because even though this is a size 25, which is essentially their original smallest size, you can fit a ton in this bag, which is one of the things why I'm still attracted to it. Um, but this part, like the two sides of the shoulder strap will really dig in and really just like... Um, it doesn't cut per se, but it feels like it's cutting into your bones or your skin, especially if you have a lot of... Uh, just a lot of bones in, in your shoulder area, which I guess I'm kind of like that, but I'm not super bony, but it still kind of hurts me, right? Um, so that's one reason why I didn't like it. Now, coupled with the fact that, and I know you guys have heard it many times, coupled with the fact that I feel with this size bag in the Vendouya version, meaning in the strap version, the zipper opening is just a little bit more constricting. And this is what I mean. So it doesn't look like it's a super small opening but when your bag is so full and you have a number of things inside and they can be of all shapes and sizes and because this is such a... it is really a big bag, right? So it can be really tossed in, the, in there and when you're just trying to find that one thing and you're in a rush or whatnot, it just really really bugs me so the fact that it was already uncomfortable and the fact that it was doing this um it it really pushed me to part with it now this bag is the same size so it still does have the limitation in terms of opening but because this version is so much more comfortable i'm willing to live with it 
Now, it all sounds like it's really bad and all, but it's not all bad. I There's a lot of pros to this bag and I'll get into it. In terms of the interior, it's also uh, just the canvas lining basically. It's just on the other side of the canvas, so you'll see a brown interior. It has a few Vachetta trims on the inside as well. Pretty straightforward and simple, like it's basically a black hole other than a little small pocket like this a little zip pocket this is the newer version so it comes with the zipper pocket in the older versions you'll find a slip pocket so you can just slip your hands in it without opening the zipper i don't find this particularly annoying or anything i don't really put anything in it and you'll also find a date code on the right side underneath the the zipper pocket in terms of closure it just comes with a double-ended zipper and it's very very smooth i really love straight zippers from from louis vuitton they're just very smooth and easy to use in terms of other hardware there's just these buckles and hooks from the strap now i did make an observation on my previous bag that there was like a different tone hardware on them uh, you'll notice that the clips themselves have the shiny gold and then these ones have the matte gold not sure why they do that even the zipper is matte gold and these d-rings are matte gold and these rivets are matte gold so not sure why they don't all keep it matte gold or all shiny gold but um that's definitely still there although i do find that the shade of gold is slightly more similar whereas i do remember for my damier ben version the the tone of the gold was a lot more different like the contrast was a lot more different so it's noticeably more apparent all the rumors of bags being discontinued and i'm referring to mostly canvas bags especially the smaller bags or the lower price range bags that are being discontinued Luckily, the Speedy is not one of them. This will probably stay in their collection, and I hope they do because um, there's really not any more bags that are in the thousand dollar range, to be very honest. Uh, the only ones that are really left that people still really covet are the Neverfull and the Speedies. I believe right now it's 1680, I think, Canadian dollars plus tax. So it's still really expensive, but at least it's still their lower range price bag. The pros of this particular version is how much more comfortable I feel like it is. And I, I just feel like with this version, right off the bat, I can wear it for hours. Whereas with the other one, it would be hard. I mean, I could, but it will just hurt my shoulder and just dig in so much that I feel like I don't want to wear it again the next day or I don't want to take it with me when I travel because essentially this is not my everyday bag like that's the other thing too um I do prefer wearing smaller bags I do prefer my flat bags that's just my preference and when I'm not wearing my small bags I do prefer going for my extra large bag so I would go for the Neverfull or for the Deauville tote this is kind of like in the middle or it's actually still on the larger size but a smaller larger bag for me so i don't really technically have a everyday need for this bag just because i'm so used to wearing small bags however i i do like having this because i like having the option of a secure bag that i can take with me when i want to travel so when i travel it's on a regular everyday basis right i'm basically going to be wearing this bag every single day when i'm you know out of town and having a comfortable bag that can fit quite a bit, that still looks stylish, um, you know, that you can take from one more formal to one less formal situation. So that's why I like having this bag, even though it's not one of my most rich bags. I do like having it in my collection because it is very iconic. Um, it's always going to be a classic no matter what. As for the cons, I already mentioned a few earlier. The smaller opening and the black hole combination makes it quite difficult to use. Yes, you can use an organizer. I have a bunch of them. I used to have the Samorga organizer. I did sell it because I sold my last BDs. I kind of sold the, the organizer at the same time. Um, will I repurchase one like the Samorga organizer for it? I don't know. I really appreciate having them when it's a more open bag, so like an, a more open tote. And a, a bigger bag also allows for um, more organization, right? So 
with this one it's kind of in the middle it is still a big bag but it's still kind of small especially and when you can't open it wide enough to see everything so i feel like an organizer does help but it will kind of limit your space inside it will be more organized but it will still kind of be restricted you know what i mean and it's uh, i feel like when you put one in it and when you don't put one in it the difference is so huge in terms of capacity and we'll talk a little bit about that as well when i don't have the organizer i really stuff this bag to the brim and i can fit so much light cardigan a scarf i can fit a bunch of different pouches my keys essentials and such everything goes in it even a bottle of water whereas when i have an organizer in it it really limits you to a couple of larger pieces so maybe like my camera and the bottle of water but everything else has to be more small and compact and any like forget about the scarves and everything it'll just sit on top and it just makes it a little bit less convenient in a sense you always have to remove your scarf in order to access whatever is inside even though it's more organized it is more organized don't get me wrong it's really good to have organization but it just fits less whereas when I don't have an organizer, I can stuff all of these things in it and especially if it's really stuffed, then it becomes more organized. It's kind of funny because it is such an open black hole. The more you stuff inside, the more it takes up all the space and it becomes stationary inside. It doesn't move around as much. So you can actually easily, more easily find your things. So yeah, I think that's the trick. So basically when you only have a handful of things, an organizer is awesome, but when you have so much and you want to stuff it to the brim and you're say traveling you're out of town you're always out every day then having the organizer may not always be as helpful as you think the only other con that i can think of for this bag other than basically the opening and the black hole combination is the vachetta now i did mention that i love the vachetta because it's so much more comfortable i know that I'll, but i know that a lot of people don't like it because they do not like patina or they do not like the risk of getting it dirty or spotted i personally don't have such a big deal or issue with it just because i do take care of it and i am very careful with it in the first year even like in the first year i will definitely use it less uh, i'll leave it out in the open when i like when it's in storage it's not really being stored it's basically just left out like this um so that air and just time will patina it and give it a nice sort of even coating like right now it's not really patina but it's definitely a lot darker than it was when i first got it because it was dark white before so i do sort of let that process develop by itself at home um not necessarily wearing it on on a very regular basis and once i reach that level where it's quite tan i mean it's almost getting there and i think i'm i'm kind of semi comfortable taking it out more regularly now uh, then it becomes no problem so it really depends on you your own preference i know a lot of people are not willing to wait all the time to get to that stage and i'm not saying that you need to do that necessarily i just prefer to do that myself so that might be a con for you i have had this bag since june that's when i bought it i bought this particular one in europe in spain actually so um it's only been four months and it's i like i said i only used it a few times so in terms of wear and tear for this particular bag i can't tell you a whole lot for it other than it's it's great um but for my last one the demi event i did have it for over a year almost two i think and it, it wore super fine. It was literally brand new when I sold it. Um, aside from maybe a few dust specks inside the bag. And um, yeah, I, I really can't think of any wear and tear. And especially because, oh yeah, it does come with a lock too. I never use the locks because I find that they get in the way. When I open the bag, I just want to open the bag. I don't want to fuss around with a lock being in misplaced you sometimes you have to just kind of rotate them and turn it around so i just don't bother with it i don't really wear them so they stay pristine i had a regular speedy many many years ago i've had it for over six seven years and 
when I sold it, the girl was asking me whether I used it or not. And I did. <laughs> I did use that bag a lot. Like, not every day, but I used it a lot. And yeah, it stays new for a long time. With the Vachera, for sure, it will continue to patina. It will get those beauty marks as you use it. And the more you get into those um, unpredictable conditions, like if you do take it out in the rain and such, yeah, you're gonna get a lot more watermarks and it will show more, but it will just become a little bit more like a vintage look bag, which I really like as well. So yeah, in terms of wear and tear, that's the difference. But in terms of like the construction wear and tear, I really don't think that this bag will be such a big problem. Aside from maybe these corners might get scuffed once in a while, but I've never had this problem just because, I don't know, I never really scuff my bags ever. So I never really have any problems and I love the fact that this bag has no raw edge exposed at all. All the seams are tucked in on the outside, on the top, and even on the inside, everything is sealed. So compared to, let's say the pochette makes this with so much raw edges, that bag will wear out more on the edges because the glazing will come off eventually. It's just a matter of time. I have quite a few older videos where I showed what fits inside. I also have the Samorga video if you guys are interested. I'll just link everything down below. Uh, these are my older videos where I had um, reviewed my my Speedy B before, so my Demi Event Speedy B, but I basically showed you what can fit inside. It fits a ton basically. But just to give you an idea, what I also found out and I think I'm gonna do that going forward is say if I were to take my bag to travel and I wanna just stuff it, like really stuff it, but without an organizer, I will actually bring this little guy here. So this is the pochette that comes with the Neverfull MM or GM. So this is the larger of the pochette. And you'll notice that it's basically the same size as the Speedy V25. So one day I just played with it and then I realized, I mean, I knew that since my old bag, but I realized that it actually fits in there perfectly. And so it becomes a compartment. It becomes your divider in itself. I think it's actually awesome. So what I realized and what I normally like to do when I travel is I always bring my shawl, right? So I always bring my Louis Vuitton shawl in its dust bag so I can toss it inside in one of the sides. So let's say I pick this side, then this side will be taken over by my shawl, but at least it will be flat laying on that one side and it's compartmentalized. And the other side, I can have everything else. I can have everything else, my cameras, my wallets, my keys, uh, any knickknacks, pouches. Before, my reasoning was that if I were to get an organizer, it's because I wanted to be able to bring something to drink without it spilling inside my bag. But my bottle is always so secure. Like I, I use one of those, you know, um, double walled ones so it doesn't sweat. Uh, if I have my scarf on one side that's already taking up so much space, then I can sneak in the bottle on one side, making sure that it stays stationary. So like to conclude this video, do I recommend this bag? Yes and no. I recommend it if you love the style, obviously. I know a lot of people don't care that it's a black hole, they don't care that things are jumbled inside, and they don't mind that the opening is slightly smaller for the size. In those cases, I think yes, absolutely get this bag. It will be worth it for you, especially if you like to reach for it every day. For someone like me, like I mentioned, it's not a bag that I would, you know, take out all the time. I do have my other favorite bags to wear. And in terms of sizing, this is not quite like the large, large tote size. It's kind of in the middle, but it's a really good travel bag. And because I have a nice variety of other bags already, I really don't mind having this in my collection as well. So. In that case, I will say yes, but if you're just easily bothered and annoyed with all the cons that I mentioned earlier, then maybe it's not such a good idea to get it. Just being really real here because, yeah, the, it, I think we get a general sense that this bag is loved by everyone, but the reality is that it's not. I I love it just because I, I love having variety and I, I love 
having the in case I need this bag sort of situation. So if I didn't rebuy it again or if I didn't have this bag again in my life after selling it, I would still be totally fine with it. I mean, I would miss it because I did have it for a while and I know how it works, but it's not a must. So that's why I say yes and no. Yeah, this is one of those very, very versatile, goes with everything bag. If you don't want to use this, the straps, like you want to go to a more formal event and this is the only bag that you have around with you, just use the top handle. It looks really, really cute and very classic. Um, yeah, even with a little black dress, works well, as long as you don't mind the side trims here. That's it for this review, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're new to my channel, thanks for dropping by, I hope you do subscribe. I do post several videos per week, from vlogs to this kind of videos, like reviews to, I don't know, favorites and things like that, styling videos. So I hope that you do stick around by subscribing and by hitting that notification button. My first video is always on Monday though, but I do post uh, several other ones, not on a regular schedule uh, throughout the week. So yeah, just letting you know. And yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye.